but chipping was really bad as well. And um, I had to just really, I had to, be, I just had to become a better pitcher, chipper, putter, everything. I felt like I was hitting the ball pretty decent, but my short game was nowhere near it needed to be. And um, so it took me a while, but I eventually like got my chipping back to where it needed to be, kind of like in the middle of 2014. And Is that a self-help situation, or did you kind of? Yeah, I just kind of experimented with a bunch of stuff and tried to figure out. You know, I just kind of you just practice, practice, practice until it gets the way you want it, and um, pretty much, yeah. And then about the middle of 2014, I started chipping really good, and then that's when I started playing better, and I ended up winning the tournament later in the fall. Um, or later in the summer in Knoxville, but um, but yeah, my short game was really bad, and I, and I just needed to work harder on my game. I really just I wasn't working as hard on my game as I should have. Um, I knew I had the ability to win on say the Web.com tour, and then to be competitive on the PGA tour, but I, I wasn't working hard enough to do that. And about that changed. the yeah. about the yeah kind of early 14 Dreen and I were talking and it was just kind of like we were driving and it was just like you have to work harder you're not as good you kind of, I kind of got better when I realized I wasn't that good if that makes sense when I said I am not because at the time I had conditional status on the web I wasn't really getting into anything and and you know looking around I'm like I am not that good <laughs> from a I have nothing to show for it basically right now as of right now and until I can say, you know, until I've got a PJ Tour card or something, like I've got to work. Well, I still have to work, but it's like I've got to kind of admit to myself that I'm not as good as I think I am, and I have to work harder, basically.